going to be a you know, launching pad for the rest of the season. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, every time we play Southern Illinois, it's, it always seems like it's always the turning point of our season. And, you, know, you guys just came together today. We put together both offense and defense. And we had each other's back on defense. And we moved the ball well on offense. Does it feel like? Uh, for uh, Stefan, does it feel like forever since you made a three-point basket? Oh man, I can't even remember the last time I hit it, but it finally went in. So I mean, it's just it's just a confidence thing. So, just guy, just keep shooting after after practice and before practice, and just get that confidence. Back. But you guys did. Well, we kind of talk about you, you know, visibly hung your heads after you know the previous games. When you guys got down this time, was there a different kind of mindset or a different attitude with you guys? Oh uh, yeah, it was like previous games. But Someone hits us in the mouth, and we just we just fold. This game, we, we got hit in the mouth at the beginning, and we just stayed together and fought all the way back and put ourselves in position to win the game at halftime. I feel like it's the first thing. time in a while, Stefan, you guys really played for each other uh, for the first yeah. time in quite a while here. Yeah, it's been the first time since the beginning of the game, or the beginning of the season. And, you know, everybody just had their backs this game. And, you know, we just got to use this game as a learning process and be consistent throughout the season with Brandon, what turned things around for you guys? Obviously, uh, shooting-wise, uh, you got off to a very bad start. Uh, they jumped out to the big lead. What what uh, got you guys started there uh, in the tail end of that half there? Uh, it took uh, for Coach Mack to uh, start saying a couple of things and tell us we need to pick it up. And as a team, we talked amongst each other and tell each other we need to pick our intensity up. Brandon, do you figure that you get a lot more a lot more minutes considering Kim wasn't going to play today. I mean, and how did you guys kind of approach uh, this game without him? You played at the point today, uh, Brandon, quite a bit. Uh, is that something you're comfortable with? Or were you surprised you got to play there today? You hadn't played there as much, I guess. But you, you had the ball in your hands quite a bit today. Is it something that you're comfortable with? Uh, yeah, basically it's just like a confident thing. Like, if you have confidence in yourself, you can do anything. I had confidence in myself that I can do it, so that's what I did. Stefan, how big was he early? Graham would make up big shots, he was handling the ball and defending. How big was he to spark the confidence? He's really big. After he hit a couple of shots, it just, the, the confidence throughout the team just started to pick up. You know, after he hit, the fans started picking up their intensity as well. And they started clapping for us and you know, putting us in the game. And we had the fans behind us. That helps us out on the court. Brandon, how did it feel to kind of find that rhythm, you know, kind of get back to the way you were doing, you know, really early in the season? I mean, was it, you know, kind of being able to get up and down the court a little bit? You know, you talked about, you know, like to get up and down, you know, being able to play the point, I guess, was that something you were kind of able to take advantage of? And uh, yeah, uh, the point is like more freelance than you can do, like, so you want to do so. Plus, you can get your teammates involved, and that's what I like to do. If I'm not looking ahead to the next two games, are those games really going to tell you where you guys are at as far as Murray State and, and Louisville? Oh, yeah, most definitely. I mean, I think every time Western goes to Murray State, I mean, they, they always lose that game. So we got we got to come confident and ready to play that game. The environment's crazy there. I think it was two years ago when I played there, and the environment was outrageous. So we just got to come in there. And when you're on the road, you got to come together on the road. You're not going to have a lot of fans behind you. So we just got to come together and be ready to play. Defensively, Stefan, you talked about it. Um, obviously, you guys really uh, locked them down in the second half, uh, save for that you know spurt there at the beginning of the game. Do you think that's uh, defensively some of the best ball you've played all year? Oh, yeah, yes, it was. I mean, in practice, Coach focused on the white line, just having people's back and being in the outside and just it's pretty much just trusting your teammates. I mean, you have that trust that if they throw it over your head, that one of your teammates is going to be there, it helps you out. Uh, positioning wise and intensity wise. Well, you had 10 turnovers today, which kind of broke a long stretch of games because you had over 20 turnovers a game. So, I mean, how was that focus, I guess, today, kind of limiting those miscues? Well, in practice, you know, we try to focus on not turning the ball over and just keep moving the ball. I think if we move the ball and just try to get everybody involved, it helps without the uh, <coughs> helps not turn the ball over. So, you know, our guards took care of the ball and, you know, just helped us out throughout the whole game. How big of a relief, relief was it to look at the sheet at the end of the day and not see 20 or 25 turnovers? That was a big relief. I mean, we was averaging 26, 27 turnovers these past couple games. So, like I said, the guards took care of the, took care of the ball and, and we got this win.